developed to match the demands of society, and factors such as globalization and technology have opened up new areas of legal intervention. One of these is fashion law, and Sumeya Damar is a pioneer in this field in South Africa. She chatted to Karishma about her combined interest in law and style. This trendy Cape Town venue may seem an unlikely place for a lawyer to consult with a client. But then, Sumeya Dumar is not your conventional counsel. Well, this is one of them, so my question was... In fact, she's a practicing advocate who specializes in fashion law, while also being an industry insider with first-hand experience of the creative and business aspects. Samir Dema is a fashionista at heart, but she is more than just a pretty face with a good eye. She's been applying herself to the business of fashion law and revolutionizing the way we see things in South Africa. Hi ladies, how are you? Hi, good and you? Good, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all, have a seat. You're just wrapping up, thank you so much. Fantastic, thanks. thanks. Bye. Samir? To get right into things, how did you go about marrying your two passions, fashion and law? I studied law and specialised in intellectual property law and worked in the legal industry for several years before I decided to throw myself into the fashion industry. And I saw a gap in the market and thought why not combine my two skills and passions and pioneer a business in South Africa. Speaking of which, you have really played numerous roles in the fashion industry. Tell me a bit more about those. I love fashion and everything about fashion. So when I decided to work in the fashion industry, it has its challenges, but I've um, played a multitude of roles. I've done everything from fashion trend forecasting to styling, designing, an editor of a magazine at one stage. And which one of those were your favorites? I love styling. I love putting clothes together and um, different outfits for different occasions. Speaking of which, I'm about to go shopping upstairs at the Bromwell. Would you like to join me? I'm going to update my summer wardrobe. That sounds so exciting. I'd love that. Let's go. When she appears in court, Sumeya is bound by dress code to appear in the traditional black gown and white bib. But otherwise, she's free to project her personal sense of style, depending on her mood and the occasion. Sumeya, how can one go about changing their wardrobe from season to season without having to replace their entire wardrobe? It's not necessary to replace your entire wardrobe as long as you have a few key pieces in your wardrobe. So take for example this dress, although you look at it and you just think summer, it could actually work in winter if you add on a leather biker jacket and some boots and you're good to go. And I love this dress so much that I have a little event, the Sunday brunch on a yacht. So I'm going to go try this on. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you in it. <laughs> you look gorgeous. That colour just really makes your skin tone pop. I hear you've got another look in store for me. I actually do. It's a power lunch look. So I'll show you in a second. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. Wow. That looks Amazing. Definitely such an effective power look. Thank you. So Mia, what are some key items every girl should have in their wardrobe? There are classic items in every wardrobe. So for example, the pencil skirt. There's also a good structured blazer that every girl needs in her wardrobe. As well as stilettos. And this summer's must-have item? That would be the corset or the lingerie trend is quite big right now and it's going to be huge in summer. Samaya, so what are some of the misconceptions people have when getting into the fashion industry? People often think that you can just do business on a handshake without solidifying your agreements with people and it's very important to get a good contract in place from the beginning. So this protects both parties' interests. While fashion may seem a very soft industry, it can be brutally competitive. And piracy is a worldwide problem. So brands, designs and creations need to be protected from plagiarism. Having completed her LLB degree with seven distinctions and then specialising in the complex field of trademarks, patents and copyright, Sumeya is more than qualified to give expert advice to her celebrity clientele. How did SA Fashion Law come about? I worked for the Cape Town Fashion Council and drawing up their legal documents, etc. And then I had a lot of designers approach me because they also wanted protection. So that's when I saw the gap in the market and I decided why not merge the two and start SA Fashion Law. And why is fashion law so important? Intellectual property is really valuable, but not many designers or creatives in the industry understand its value. So therefore fashion law comes into play and 
um, solidifies contracts and protects your intellectual property. Aside from her professional abilities, what really sets Sumeya apart is her obvious passion for fashion, combined with the looks and personality to charm the camera. What advice do you have for young designers? Young designers that are starting out in the industry, it's actually not that easy to break into the industry. But if you are doing it, do it properly. So you've got to make sure that all of your business tools are in place, your contracts, your intellectual property, and everything, because the law should not be underestimated even in the fashion industry. Well, there you have it. Samaya so Demar is a die-hard fashionista who means business.